Ooh, let's have a cup of tea. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the title of the video, um, I crashed my car and I wasn't even in it. So how is that possible? Um, so today we're gonna explain that, but first we need to assess the damage. But don't freak out, it, it wasn't the Mazda, it was, it was the Golf. So my temporary fix, because I didn't wanna get the car all rusty underneath, I wasn't really sure how bad the damage was, was to actually put some plumbing tape on it to try and keep some of the water out. But yeah, this is basically the area affected. Luckily, it's only the bumper, but as you can see, this is meant to be solid, not hollow. Oh, no. Oh dear. This is what I, I have. Oh. That's bad, isn't it? That's bad. <laughs> so as you can see, that that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much totaled. But it's okay because I've got a new one sat right there. So first thing that we've got to do is to take the lights out. What's this? That's, that's a hazard triangle. That's my warning triangle. Looks factory, doesn't it? Yeah, I was like, I couldn't work out whether it was factory or used. That saved me twice so far in my life. Obviously we can see this damage from this side, but I sort of want to see the damage that's in there. I've also bought a replacement used crash bar because I'm not sure if I've damaged that as well. So I'm excited to have a look, but also quite nervous. This is the real light and these were amazingly easy to get out. They're literally just held in by one plastic threaded springy thing. Okay, so we have taken off four Torx head screws by the side, these ones as well as two underneath. And then I think it's just gonna pull off. I hope it's just gonna pull off. Mm -hmm. He's got his trim tools out. Love my trim tools, just to fix these out a bit. Right, I'm gonna have to put the camera down to do this bit. So Dave is just disconnecting the number plate light. Only one clip broken so far. It's quite an important clip. Look at that hole. Woo I'm excited to see what's happening under here. Oh yeah, so you can see, so that's where the handle hit. Boom. Okay, so the new bumper is unwrapped. Dave is taking the number plate off for the transfer. They look pretty much identical, apart from the paint, obviously. No, yeah. there's a hole difference. Look. Where? There's a hole in this oh, yeah. that's not in this one. <laughs> yeah, true. So, how did you get this hole done? Okay. On, <laughs> Okay, so let me explain. Right, so I'll set the scene for you. Uh, I just finished a week at work. It was Friday. I was quite tired, quite a long week, um, but quite happy because it's Friday and I thought, oh, I need a haircut. So on my commute home, I stopped off um, where I knew there was a barber's and I stopped off in the top of a supermarket car park. The supermarket was Waitrose. And Waitrose have a big hill where I live, like this and uh, the entrance to the supermarket is here, and I park my car about here on top of the hill, away from all the other cars, because I'm just a bit weird like that. Did my normal stuff, you know, closed the doors, locked the car, started walking away, and down the high street, you can see the edge of Waitrose, so I could see that my car, you know, where it was parked. So I started walking down the high street, probably made it about 50 meters, and I heard this alarm going off, and I was like, ah, oh, that's weird. Sort of sounds like my alarm. Turn around, See my car just sort of slowly, just, just doing that, just inching down, you know. And I thought, oh no, someone's stealing my car very slowly. But obviously, you know, they weren't and it took me like a second to realize that it was actually just rolling down the hill. So what I did was I started sprinting back towards the car, which is very hard in some, you know, leather brogues and slippy pavement, so I was like sliding all over. You see like those dogs running on, like eventually caught up with the car after about 50 meters. I did that weird thing where you try and stop a car with, with your hands. <laughs> you see those people on YouTube doing it and they always fail. I failed as well. And I thought, oh my God, it's gonna go through the front of Waitrose. It's gonna be glass everywhere, oh no. Luckily, I'd parked it with the wheel at a slight angle and um, it actually drove itself in between two pedestrian bollards like that down this hill in between the two bollards. Luckily there was no one about, because it's quite late at night. Hit this iron bench, bang, smashed into a wall. And I swapped my details over and spoke to the lovely people in Waitrose. And I'm pretty sure it all happened because the handbrake was only slightly on and it was quite a steep hill and the handbrake needed to be fully on. Um, because actually the car 
probably if the handbrake wasn't on at all it probably would have been doing about 30 miles an hour the car is built like an absolute tank so it can take an iron bench in the rear and smash into a wall and be absolutely fine and yeah that's pretty much how it happens so back to the repair everything's clipping in pretty good so far oh yeah let's clean that yeah, 130,000 miles of muck. Lights are in, look at that. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> the colour match really, oh, hello cable. The colour match really isn't that bad. I mean, we can't really see a lot in here, but... Yes. I haven't got a hole in my bumper, yes. Look at that, wow, no hole. Now we just need to make the car match up with this shiny new bumper that it's got. Um, but yeah, pretty good alignment on that. Right, so this is where uh, my expertise ends and Dave's expertise come out because um, the jet washes out and Dave knows how to detail a car. Unlike me. So there's only one thing left to do now, which is a, um, a slow-mo cleaning montage. You know what's coming. a really cool noise as well. Okay, so somehow Dave and I have gone all in. And there's also a little dent that's been on here since I've owned the car. I don't know if you can see that. So we're now gonna try and get that out with some boiling water. So I guess the idea behind this is to like heat up the metal. Yeah, that smells hot. Go on, use those muscles, Dave. Do you want me to pull as hard as I can? That sucker's going to come off, I think. Yeah. It's worked! <laughs> it works! Oh, let's do the other one. <laughs> it's such a success. God, the car's getting a full spa treatment today, look. Yeah. That's it. Did you hear it go then? Did it do it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the car is all sorted now, as you can see. We've polished up the sides to make it look as though it matches the best we can. It looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so the car is all good now, and it's been like that for a few months. So I'm very pleased with the end result. It looks pretty good. And um, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. So always remember... Righty-tighty. Lefty-loosey. <laughs> see you very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.